Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show, Creative World. I'm your host, Shin Matsuba. We'll be introducing some amazing, talented people, chatting with them in a one on one interview, hearing their stories, picking their brains, looking through the kaleidoscope of Creative World. Today's creative world is fashion. Today's guest comes from the world of fashion. He's Japanese born, but is currently based in LA. He's a professional fashion designer who made headlines when he won on the 16th season of the popular TV show Project Runway. He's also a classical pianist and composer who received a master's degree of music from the University of South Carolina, composing several musicals. Please welcome Kentaro Kameyama. Hello, Kentaro. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for joining us today. I have a lot of questions for you. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. This room is really beautiful. Is that, is this your studio? Oh, this is not my studio, but this is my showroom. Uh, this is 66, oh. and there are so many showrooms in LA, but like, I have to have an extensive research check which one would be the best fit for my line. Right. And owner, Janice, was so nice and beautiful, and I really fall in love with everything they have. Nice, very nice, very nice. So first question to begin with, so I heard you were originally mm -hmm. a pianist, right? Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. what made you decide to pursue fashion design? Mm, so I came here to study classical piano, but I realized I can't make money. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, like uh, um, one thing I wanted to do uh -huh. was becoming a fashion designer. So like, you know, I was getting older, so wow. that would be the last chance for me to try out. Wow. So it's a big decision. What actually made you the decision though? Because you know, the, uh, that would be scary. And why, why fashion design? I think I couldn't see anything like myself going further as uh -huh. a classical pianist. And okay. like, I always like to uh, creative things. So okay, the creative thing. also I felt like it's time. Right, right. So when actually you start to have the kind of like a motivation or likes toward the fashion design when you're- I yeah, I always love fashion. Uh, since you're a kid already? Yeah, since, yeah. Oh, wow, that's great. And could you briefly tell us about the TV show Project Runway and yes. what was the process like and how it felt when you won? So I was hired as a teacher at a fashion school. Okay. So we had a 16 designers uh -huh. and I went to New York and you know, start competing against each other. Right, right. How many stages you actually been? About 10. 10? Yeah. Whoa. So every episode, like elimination process, uh -huh. like one designer goes home. Uh -huh. And once we get um, top four or five, uh -huh. we do this 10 pieces collection at New York Fashion Week. Wow. And I was the winner. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's great. So do you have any idea how many people initially applied for the show? Yeah, I did ask about it, but they, uh -huh. they don't tell me, but they just said a lot. <laughs> just I a bet lot. it's a lot. Right, even from other countries? Yeah, other countries and all of America. Uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah, I bet it's a lot. And it's like one of the most famous TV show. I right. mean, not TV show, like fashion. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And I saw some of your works, and I think, you know, I really liked your like, use of color any interesting features of your designs that is unique to your artworks? I make a lot of different things. And when I do like a um, purely fashion show right, situation, right. I go over the top, uh -huh. which I don't have any concerns about being comfortable. Uh -huh. So that, which I love, uh, I can be more creative, but when I think about providing something for someone to wear, right. I kind of think about fit and the flow, you know, like those kind of things. I always try to be honest about what I want to make. Uh -huh. And I usually come up with shape. Last season, I did um, this called pollination. Pollination. Yeah. And I kind of had a thinking process about right. the flower uh -huh. pollen and things like that. Last season too, I did this collection called like sleepy. Uh -huh. I guess I don't sleep well. So I had a- We were pre previously talking about it, <laughs> right? 
So I had this dress, like,、uh-huh. you know, made out of like two pillows. Like, so I kind of try to、uh, keep my personal thinking、uh-huh. outside in a way, if that makes sense. Next question. Besides being a fashion designer, you're also an accomplished pianist and composer. Are any of your family members also in design or music field? Yeah,、um, my mother plays piano, my、uh-huh. dad plays trombone.、Oh, wow. uh, he has a band, a jazz band, and he was a、uh, band master.、Uh-huh. And as I.、Uh, in Japan, you mean? In Japan. Okay. Yeah, so my dad always like, play like cassette. Right? Okay.、Uh-huh. And CD, and he writes music on a piece of paper for his band.、Right. So, like, you know, you know, he always listens to music.、Right. So, my mother plays piano, so music was everywhere in my house. Right. For the fashion side, who would you say influenced you the most in your family member? I would say no one, but, like, you know, my mom takes me to like, places like, you know,、uh-huh. like tea ceremony.、Uh, You know, sometimes my mom wears kimono, so like, you know, maybe my mother, but not really. Yeah, but、uh-huh. you know, like I had a, when I was in high school, I、uh-huh. have like fashion friends. Right, right, that right. That could be like, you know, most influential、uh-huh. like period of my life. Right, right, right. To get into fashion. It's a high school, right? High school, yeah. Wow, that was a, that was a turning point, sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I always like fashion, but like、uh-huh. that fashion. Became like, more realistic. Right. And then, next question. Do you approach, since we brought up both music、oh. and fashion, do you approach differently when you design your clothes versus writing music? It's kind of the same,、oh, wow. surprisingly. Because、uh, I always work with like,、uh-huh. a portion.、Uh-huh. So I really don't think about a、like, big picture of like, how I want to do.、Uh-huh. So that pollination、um, became my theme. I just kind of started to think about like a little part of like, you know, like poly, and the petal, and the bees, you know. And when I keep thinking about it, like I kind of start、uh, creating a story about it.、Uh-huh. So, piano music, when I compose music, I have like a little theme or like specific、uh, chords.、Uh-huh. Then I keep thinking about it, kind of expands like longer, and I start seeing stories. So it's very similar, or like, you know, I would even say it's the same. Wow. So, wow, being a musician definitely influenced your. Oh, yeah,、uh-huh, definitely. Wow. Is there anything new you're working on?、Mm, I just became lazier. So <laughs> <that's so funny. laughs> Yeah, because like, I only work because I, you know, fashion show is coming up.、Uh-huh. Like, you know,、right. there's things coming up, so I'm going to work for it. So, you know, I, I'm not really familiar with the fashion world, but、uh, is there any season for fashion? Oh, yeah,、or、usually like-, like New York and LA Fashion Week, February, March, and、uh, September, October. Uh huh. Yeah.、Oh, September, okay. So that's kind of like, you know, twice a year. Got it.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, what do you think, since you've been really successful, what do you think? Is necessary to succeed internationally. Use who you are.、Mm-hmm. So you don't have to be a specific person,、uh-huh. but then if you are to be a shy person, I mean, use that as your strength. Right. And you don't have to pretend I'm not shy. Right. You know, you kind of have to fully use who you are. And it's always kind of like makes other people feel good too. Right, right. So be who you are, right? Yeah. And then, do you have anyone in your mind、mm-hmm. who you would like to collaborate with in the future? Oh, yeah.、Uh, I am planning to collaborate on this showroom 66.、Uh, uh-huh. And as I mentioned with Janice right there, right. Like, we are planning to do something very interesting.、Mm-hmm. And like, we can the, review right now. Yeah. Right. We can. But、right. it's something about fashion, but it's very unique and、uh-huh. involving a lot of like in art community people. So、right. that's what we are planning. And I'm so excited about it. Right. Because I think we need to help each other. Right. 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 Like, models need garment. Right. Designers need a photographer. Right. They need a makeup artist, like those、right. kind of collaboration. So I think down to earth and,、mm-hmm. you know, really communicating with people that's like me and Janice are planning to do through this show. Right.、Tour. That's great. I'm looking forward to seeing that project.、Mm-hmm. And one last question. The title of the show is Creative World.、Mm-hmm. So, what does the word creative mean to you? What is your interpretation for the word creative? Imagination. Imagination meaning? 
Imagination meaning when you create something, you have to imagine something. And if you don't imagine, it kind of becomes like production in a way instead of like creation.、Mm-hmm. And what we want to see is like what you have in your mind. And we don't want to see something we already see. Right. So it's like a very、uh, individual work to pull out what. You have in your mind.、Mm-hmm. So, as I mentioned before, like be yourself is gonna be the big part of being creative too. Be who you are. Don't get scared of like what people think about. Right. Yeah, and there's nothing、uh-huh. to be afraid of. Right. I'm kind of skinny and not necessarily like strong looking person, but like I never get scared of anything. That's a strong advice. Yeah, sometimes I go to a restaurant and those like, you know, big people are kind of trying to threaten me. But、uh-huh. like, you know, I never get scared.、You、be、are. confident. That's great. Yeah, and to be confident, like, you don't need anything. That's great.、Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Today's guest was Kentaro Kamiyama. He's a fashion designer, project runner, winner, and pianist. Thank you, Kentaro. It was such、Thank、a、you. pleasure to have you on our show. Wonderful. Thank you. Next, Kentaro has some interesting materials to show you all. By the way, this episode will be available on YouTube this coming Saturday. For details, please check out our Facebook page. Enjoy! Enjoy! Some say there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Sure, unless you can make it better. All tires aren't created equal. The Nitto Ridge Grappler. Spiral wound construction enables our truck tires to be aggressive and ride incredibly smooth. Our tread and sidewall designs deliver off road performance for even the most demanding terrain. While computer simulated tread design delivers a quiet and comfortable ride on the highway. The Ridge Grappler goes beyond expectations. Nitto Tire, fueled by enthusiasts. So, this is my newest collection, Pollinate, and this is not my brand name, but、uh, I was inspired by、uh, pollination, how、uh, flowers and bees they work together to make beautiful things. So, Pollinate, right? So, I have tank top and I have shorts and a sweater, and I like a lot of、uh, casual. Thanks. This is a、uh, organic cotton. It's very soft. And this one is a、uh, tube top. And this looks like a flower. It does not look beautiful on me, but for someone else. And I have these pants. And this was inspired by Japanese kimono hakama. So you can kind of see, like, The structure and the pleats, but things like that, right? And this one is, this looks like an egg, but like、uh, pants, and these are combined together. And I have this almost like a duster, a long, this,、uh, this is a cotton knit,、uh, almost jacket, duster. And these are my silk collection, which a lot of like, people order this for, for red carpet, that kind of occasion. Very flowy, and I use a lot of fabric. So, if you see it, it's a humongous amount of fabric. It's kind of so,、uh, it's really flowy and beautiful. This is my bias cut silk dress. And again, this one, I use a lot of like,、uh, silk. So, It flies like butterfly. Wait, wait, there's part two. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.